Good morning, my name is Evelyn Almeida and I am from Universidad de las Fuerzas Armadas ESPE and Universidad Central del Ecuador. The other two researchers are Juman de Chimba and Miriam Cuenca from Universidad Central del Ecuador. A research topic is enhancing Quechua language and ancestral identity in new generations through oral narratives. Before we start talking about our research, I want to show you a little video about the students or the Quechua students. It is very interesting to see how the students are involved and participate in, par in the parts of the Quechua class. This is a representation of one of the Quechua festivities. It is really, really important. Well, going back to our research, this article analyzes the narrative approach to teaching an ancestral language Quechua to students. The narrative stories are presented to 64 Quechua students from a public university in Ecuador. In particular, we examine how narratives can help and inspire Ecuadorian students to learn one of the country's most common indigenous language, which is Quechua. What was the problem that we were facing? The loss of Quechua language and its ancestral identity in new generations. We believe that there is a need to expand their social cultural knowledge, help young youth communicate with native Quechua speakers, and eventually help them carry out social projects related to Quechua speakers' identity and culture. About the literate review, we have different aspects that we talk about in the article, and we, you are welcome to look at the whole article for more detail. The first one was teaching Quechua and the importance of teaching Quechua. The second one was Quechua in South America and Ecuador. Also, the differences between Quechua and Quechua. And finally, the Ecuadorian Minister of Education and Quechua Language. About the methodology. The theoretical framework that we use in this research study is narrative approach. Flick suggests that the narrative approach is a way of knowing and remembering events and processes in our personal history, as well as a way of communicating about issues, telling stories about events and processes. Other authors believe that narrative approach analyzes people telling stories that can help shed light on how people form identities. So we strongly believe the narrative approach is our theoretical framework. Regarding the participants, this research focuses on a Quechua teacher who is the storyteller and his students from a language institute in Quito, Ecuador. The researchers report the Quechua life experiences through his stories told in class. The students um, are native speakers, but also people who are interested in learning Quechua and its culture. About the data collection methods, we had teachers first personal narratives, an in-depth narrative interview with a Quechua teacher, and a students' surveys. About the narratives, we mentioned that we have three personal narratives. The first personal narrative is in Tiraimi, which means the Sun Festival. The second one is Pachamamawan Causa Rimai, which means behind the nature. And the last one, which is Wanyui, which means the day of the spirit. After doing the analysis, we obtained five themes. The first theme is the teacher's attitude. The teacher's relationship to learners influence their relationships with others in the community. 
In this sense, most of the survey students agree that the classes are very dynamic and enthusiastic. And these classes motivate them to pay more attention and be involved in the culture. The second theme, class organization and students participants. The study of Quechua language generates processes of discussions and exchange of knowledge within the teaching learning process. This knowledge, knowledge exchange invites students to participate in different ancestral celebrations. Oraimi Kuna. The third theme is vivid experiences. Besides the teacher's ancestral teaching culture, apart from his academic training is also that is also relevant for the class, as a native speaker belonging to the Quechua Tavalo peoples, the teacher offers students an excellent opportunity to experience the language and culture firsthand. About the self-identification, it was very interesting what one of the students mentioned. The student said, I am a Kitu Kara woman self-identified with the culture of my ancestors and the Quechua language. So I am here to remember our language and because my grandparents speak Quechua and I don't anymore. So this is how they self-identify by the use of these narratives in the Quechua A classes, which was very, very important. And finally, national identity. Regarding intercultural relationships in the country, some students explain that it is imperative to learn at least one of these languages. One of the students also mentioned that because of my indigenous roots at Mestizo, to know and speak the language of our country makes me an indigenous culture lover. So it was something important, the national identity that the students could get from these Quechua classes. As a conclusion, Taita Sinchi has inspired and motivated the students and ourselves to write the present uh, article. His patience and true belief in his culture had been the inspiration to learn about his life his attitude towards his students and people in general. His contribution as an educator is valuable. The analysis of this research has demonstrated that field trips, visits to indigenous communities, and interviews to Kichu speakers from the Kichu communities have given a plus to allow students' feelings towards the language come alive. The students felt they were part of the process of the Quechua language acquisition. They felt motivated to learn the language with their teachers. A native Quechua teacher, a young professional, a language activist. He connected with the students by telling stories about his ancestors, their traditions, legends, customs, and ancestral medicine, spiritual diets, etc. Through oral narratives, students came to appreciate Quechua and its culture. We would like to thank you very much to stay here with us and uh, go over this important research. Here are some of the references that we got. And we wanted to show you some of the pictures in a small collage about our research. Well, thank you very much. Once again, my name is Evelyn Almeida. The other researchers are Humandi Chimba and Miriam Cuenca. And here are our contacts if you have any other questions. Thank you very much.